Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I want everyone to know that if you are watching this channel, that I want nothing but greatness for you and your business. I want you to exceed beyond expectations. I want you to be an exceptional notary slash loan signing agent. Like I want you to be great. When I first started out, I didn't know anyone who had been in the business for a while. I didn't have anyone who I can say, hey, how do you do this and how do you do that? Like I, I was missing that piece. Um, and all of our situations are different. Some of us can't afford all these expensive trainings. Some of us can't, can't devote the time to sit into the classes that they have. But YouTube is free. YouTube is free. YouTube University. Love 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 it so if you happen to be on this page just know that i want you to be great i want your business to soar far beyond mine i want your numbers to be like 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 no other so that's the reason why when i come on the videos i try to give you every bit of me i try to give you everything i can possibly think of that i desperately needed when i started out and so if you're watching this video i want you to be darn near perfect so i am coming to you with a, a few of my mistakes that i've made over the years in hopes that you learn from them and you do not do the same things that i did okay so number one I was at a signing, I was probably, and I'm pretty sure I talked about this one already in one of the videos, but <clears throat> I stamped my notary stamp upside down on the deed of trust of all documents, the most important document. <clears throat> so I was probably running my mouth. That's probably a lot of the reason for my problems, <laughs> but I was I was probably running my mouth and I stamped it upside down. And so how you fix that is you, for that, um, the stamp that's upside down, you do one line through, you mark through the entire um, stamp, one line, and then you initial. And then you restamp it correctly. That's one way of doing it. Or the other way of doing it is obviously pulling out a clean copy from the borrower's copy and using theirs and replacing you know their copy with the messed up so in essence the borrower is going to get the messed up copy and you're going to get a clean the clean copy from theirs all right um so that's that's one mistake another mistake i made was i really like the fedex envelopes so when i go to the borrower's homes i know some notaries use folders and just different tactics, but I like the FedEx envelopes. They are thick, they're sturdy, um, and they're, they cost nothing. <laughs> so I like using the FedEx envelopes. So I go to a borrower's home, I have the FedEx envelope that I'm using for the lender's copy as well as the borrower's copy. I give them their copy. They've signed everything. I go home, I take the documents out of the FedEx envelope, I scan them in, and then I put those documents in the UPS envelope. I go to UPS and I ship those documents. And I'm like, yay, I don't have any more signings anymore uh, for the rest of the day. And so I eventually go home. I move that FedEx envelope that I originally had. And I notice, I hear something. There's something in this FedEx envelope. Ugh. So I look in it and there are at least four pages in there that I had not scanned and I had not put in the UPS envelope and I had not shipped. <sighs> I am absolutely mortified, mortified. And if these documents weren't documents that, let's say they were documents that didn't need to be signed, then I wouldn't feel any type of way. But these were documents that talked about how they were going to receive their money. So they were getting cash out and they were supposed to receive it, let's say via um wiring and now that's not in the packet that i sent so like one of the most important documents i felt terrible i felt absolutely terrible 
So I emailed the um, company that assigned it to me and I said, oh my goodness, I cannot believe, excuse me, I cannot believe that I did not put these documents in the packet that I sent you. Here are the scanned versions. I am going to UPS to send these documents ASAP. So I went to UPS and there's egg on my face. I had to pay like 40, 40 some dollars to send, because at this point UPS had already picked up my package. They had already picked it up. So I had to pay 40 some dollars to send four sheets of paper. These four sheets of paper, and I had to pay it through my own money, and I, I felt terrible. I felt absolutely terrible. So when I came back home, the company had sent me, they replied to my email. And do you know what they said? They said, okay, no worries. <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, I am stressed to the max over these four sheets of paper. And all you have to say is, okay, no worries. But hey, I was glad that that was, that was their response. I was glad that I continued to get business from them. But I felt terrible that I had not shipped those four pieces of paper in with the original packet. And so now, I, I every time I make a mistake, I move differently. I adjust my, my standard to ensure that I don't make that mistake again. So now before I do anything, I'm checking all envelopes to ensure that I have not missed any documents because I do not want to pay any more money out of pocket for a mistake that I made. Mm -mm, no. Okay. All right. So then um, another mistake I made is on my very first closing, and I've, I think I've talked about this in my very first video, I think, actually. My very first closing was with buyer's it was a purchase closing. So I had the buyer in front of me, I had the seller in front of me, and I had no idea that all of these people would be in front of me. I didn't, I just didn't know, didn't expect it. And so here I am, three people in front of me who all are expecting me to know what I'm doing. And I don't. But I digress, I got through it. It was not a bad uh, closing at all, and the people were wonderful. Well, guess what I did? I did not get the sellers to sign the altar. How on earth did I do that? Again, felt terrible. I felt terrible because this the, the person who contracted me, in my mind, was going out on a limb for me. This was the first closing. And he was allowing me to do it. He was allowing me to do it with no previous experience at all and to do a purchase at that. This isn't in a refinance where, hey, these people already own their the home. They're just refinancing the, own, the home that they've been had. This is a purchase so that if I foul up, the whole purchase could fall through. Like, so for me not to get the all to sign, I just felt terrible. The guy who called me and told me, he was just like, hey, you forgot to get the altar sign. Can you go ahead and um, make arrangements to get that sign ASAP? And he sent me a, a new shipping label, which was a surprise because sometimes if you've messed up, they will not send you a shipping label. You have to pay out of pocket. So I was just like, oh, absolutely, absolutely. And I called the, the sellers and they were wonderful and they were all excited because the following day, they were going out of the country on some kind of cruise. So, yeah. Yeah, so I was really lucky. Thank you, Jesus. I was, like, like all of this fell into place perfectly. And I was so thankful that the Lord made that happen. Because it was only, it was only the Lord. Anyway, so, yeah, I had to uh, get the altar signed. And I shipped that back. And I've got many, I've got business from them out the wazoo and no harm no foul okay um the other one that i'm gonna go over is that i had a signing and i did not so i had a signing things went well i sent the documents back person sent me a email like a day or so later and said hey have you shipped the documents yet because i noticed that they're not tracking 
I'm like, yes, I shipped the, shipped the documents and I even scanned the documents. So I sent that back to her and I'm like, here are the documents here. And I did ship it. I show the tracking number is X. And I actually looked up the tracking number and it showed that it was already at the facility. And I said, oh, it looks like it's already there. Um, so just let me know if perhaps you never get it. I happened, after I hit send, I said, well, let me just go back through the entire packet. I knew I shipped the documents. I go back through the entire packet and there are two shipping labels. And apparently I sent it to the wrong company. I sent it to the lender, but the other shipping label was to title. And I just felt terrible. And the lady was, um, so I called her. Immediately when I found this mistake, I called her and I said, oh my goodness, I just checked. I see that there were two shipping labels and I had not noticed. I'm so sorry, I sent it to um, the lender. And she's like, oh, okay, no worries. Here we go with that, no worries. She says, um, I'll just reach out to the lender and ask them to send us over the title. And I said, oh, I'm just so sorry. I'm sorry you have to go through this extra pain. If there's anything I can do, please let me know, da, da, da. And within two hours, she emails me back and she says, got confirmation that uh, the lender has sent the title. So we're all good, smiley face. So now, so now, like I said, every time I make a mistake, I move differently. I adjust what I do. So now, every, as I'm prepping documents, after I've printed them off and I'm, you know, rearranging the order, like I like it, if you watch watched then you know, um, if I get to a shipping label, I'll put that up front. And so if I happen to see two shipping labels, I know that I need to go back and check um, the confirmation page to see if they have any verbiage in there because sometimes they do. And oftentimes I catch that, but that one time I did not catch it. Um, and I, don't, I can't even guarantee you that it was in the confirmation page. But either way, now I put all the shipping labels up front. Therefore, if I happen to see there, that there are two shipping labels, I notice that immediately. And I go back to the confirmation page to see if they noted anything in the confirmation page or I'll look at the notary instructions. And if that doesn't work, then I'm emailing them saying, hey, which shipping label do you want me to use? I noticed that there are two. And so I have not made that mistake again. Um, and I don't want anyone else to make that mistake because that was just like you. I sent the documents and you all didn't get it, but technically it's my fault. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So, um, those are a few. I, I know I have made more than that. Um, made more mistakes than that, but these were the big things. We all are going to make mistakes. Um, even now I can, I don't need help making mistakes. <laughs> I can do it all by myself and I'm very good at it. So like I try to uh, make it so that I don't make a mistake and make it so I don't have any complaints. And that's what I want everyone who watches this channel to do as well. If you make a mistake and you are, and it's okay, we're going to get bent out of shape. We're going to be um, a little anxious about the fact that we made a mistake, but it's okay. There are ways to fix it and we learn from it. So I want you all to learn from my mistakes so that you don't do it. But at the end of the day, you're still going to make your own mistakes and we're all going to learn from it and get through it and move on to the next closing. And, and, it will be okay. Trust me. It will be okay. You will not, uh, nine times out of 10, depending on how severe your mistake is, you won't lose business behind it. Okay. If you've made the, mis the mistakes that I just outlined, we live. It's okay. All right. So hopefully this helps. Like I said, I want you all to be great notary loan signing agents. And so I wanted to showcase some of my mistakes in hopes that you all see that, hey, even someone who's been in the business a few years 
still can make mistake, mistakes, excuse me. Um, these, this was like when I first started, but I still make mistakes. Luckily, I typically find my mistakes before I send them off. And so that's still a win in my book. <laughs> okay. So hopefully this video helped someone. Thank you for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Please share this video with other people so that they know that we're all going to make mistakes and it is oh, 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 okay. It will be okay. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.